Market to Market is everywhere you are. Subscribe to Market to Market on YouTube, find us on the PBS video app to stream on demand, and add our three podcasts on your favorite podcasting app. As farmers look forward to spring and getting into the field, they must do so through the lens of uncertain weather patterns. In the Midwest, pockets of warm air collided with western low-pressure systems, spawning an early arrival for severe weather and tornadoes. In Iowa, 13 confirmed tornadoes tore through the southern third of the state in a single day. One twister, measured as an EF4 tornado, traveled 70 miles with sustained winds of 170 miles per hour. The storm struck the town of Winterset, killing seven people. Preliminary damage estimates across the Hawkeye State were calculated at nearly $1 billion. Precipitation was widespread, with some areas of the region receiving 200 percent of normal weekly totals, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. In Colorado, U.S. Forest Service personnel are having difficulty completing wildfire prevention work due to drought conditions brought on by a reduced snowpack. The lower levels are hampering efforts to safely ignite controlled burns that help reduce fuel load on the forest floor. U.S. forestry officials are trying to double the number of scheduled burns to help reduce the risk of larger wildfires later in the year. We know in the West that we're going to see more large wildfires and, and an increase in the wildfire season simply because it will be longer due to that lack of snowpack. New strategies for combating wildland fires are being explored by the U.S. Forest Service, thanks in part to the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act of 2021. $4.5 billion has been appropriated to the federal agency for wildfire mitigation over the next five years. Similar wildfire predictions can also be heard further to the west, as expanding drought conditions are forecast for portions of Oregon, Washington and Idaho for the spring and early summer of 2022. The U.S. Drought Monitor calculates 74 percent of the Pacific Northwest is in some version of drought. As far as the wildfire risk, um, you know, it, there's just going to be elevated risk and it's going to depend on how the spring precipitation season plays out. And then, you know, it's a little bit of a, a wild card. So we'll just have a drier than normal landscape and, you know, the risk will just be there. Uh, but we do not know at this point exactly, you know, if this is going to be worse than normal, um, you know, the risk will be there. For Market to Market, I'm John Torpy.